Welcome. Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Do I have a sex tape? Hmm. Why? <laughs> yep. Story time. My name, first off, does not mean that I go around slurping people. I'm like a born-again virgin. I'm like the born-again Mother Mary. I'm basically a nun. I just have kids. So, I don't know if I'd push it that far. But let's start from the beginning. Perhaps with how did I become such a ridiculous name? Sarah Slurpee. When I first got the name Sarah Slurpee, like people assumed that I was like this cam girl and that I must have videos. Like, you know, when I first joined social media, I was like 16, 17 years old. Oh, yeah. By the time I was like 18, 19, there was like stick cam. And I would go on and just be silly and have fun. I was like, what the hell? And I didn't put two and two because like at that time, like I legit just did it because I loved Slurpees. And I actually wasn't Slurpee just yet. Like when I first joined stick cam, I was just Sarah, whatever. I need a new name because like my, my name's so boring. And I asked a friend of mine, she was like, you're obsessed with Slurpees. Like I was like, oh, I can be like Sarah Slurpee. She's like, oh, do it, do it, do it hopping from room to room and then I saw Bam Margera was on and I was like oh yeah it's so cool so I went into his room and I was just like in the chat like messing around and I remember it and oh my gosh the moment I changed it to Sarah Slurpee it was just nothing but creeps just hey, it, creeps, but I didn't really like understand it and I don't do any of them I'm not I'm not I wasn't doing that I was like such like an angel and I remember um, people were like, who the fuck is Sarah Slurpee, blah, blah, blah. And I got on camera really quick, and I was just like, I was like, hi. <laughs> and they like, sound like, oh, a hoe. like, Sarah Slurpee, like, what the fuck kind of name is that? And I, like, got scared, and I, like, got off camera. I remember I was like, I, okay, I'm like, maybe this name's not sticking. Maybe I need to come up with another, another name. And, like, people would just come in oh. and out of the rooms, and I'd, I was just, like, in my own room hosting, and there was people on camera. And... I was like, fuck it, I'll just leave it that. And I remember Bam Margera came into one of my rooms, and this platform is like a video platform, so it'd have like all these people on the video screen, and people would just like talk, and like you'd broadcast. It was, it was really cool for like, for how long ago this was. It was like kind of, this was like my first like introduction to being a troll. Like I was totally a troll on these sites. I would go on and just like piss people off or like act like a dummy ad and I kind of just kind of came up with like this blonde dizzy character of, and it kind of stuck with me and like yeah, I'm kind of became I was like yeah I just kind of play along with people I'd let them assume whatever it helped because I started getting viewers and at this time like YouTube <laughs> oh is very new so stick I would kind of get people from stick I'm like oh come check out my YouTube come check out my YouTube and back to my room to my stick cam room where Bam Margera came in to my room for a second and he was like and I remember he came in and he was like he's like so you're serious slurpy see obviously slurp though and I think I came up with something really stupid like Sarah stars or some bullshit like made no sense because I was still like deciding on the name I was like I don't know just the fact that he came in and was like uh <laughs> It was so dumb. It was fucked up. I was like, I was young. A dude's talked to me really inappropriately, but this was like my deciding factor. The fact that it wasn't the fact that it was the name and I wasn't gonna, I didn't want people to think that I was doing these things, but view wise, he was just like, he was like, would you suck my, come suck my dick? I was like, oh, I don't do that. And he's like, yeah, you do. He's like, <laughs> he's straight. He was so drunk and like everyone online was like drunk. No, <laughs> that's disgusting. I don't do that, and I just let him. People were like coming into the room because any any room, any video room he would join, of course, everyone would room hop to that room. So I was just excited, and people were like room hopping into my room. It was just, it was fun. And so I just, I don't know, from there I kept my name. Why Sarah Slurpee? And then I'm like, why the fuck not? Why the fuck Stupid. not? Stupid funniest parts are when people would ask like what do i do outside of youtube like am i cam girl like what the fuck is wrong with you? What? i would start getting like people questioning like do you do this and like i'm gonna find your videos and would you consider showing me this i'll pay you to do this what the f in my head i was like damn it's that easy 
but in my heart i was like no that's yo girl that's what you fuck. need that's fucking disgusting I'm trying to figure out like where my videos were that i was hiding and i never understood that i was like i swear i don't have it <laughs> I don't have any movies. Do I have like embarrassing videos out there? Probably. I realized that people liked me smoking. I, for the longest time, it wasn't until I canceled that YouTube channel that I didn't realize it was a fetish, and that really grossed me out. And then I finally stopped doing it. But I was just, I didn't, I didn't think I was causing any harm. I was just sitting on camera like smoking, and uh, then I realized that I'm like, oh, these people have fetishes. And uh, someone try and dox me before and figure out, try and figure out where I live. I'm gonna find something on you. Like, you either have sex videos or you have something that you're hiding. And I remember he, like, found uh, a picture online of me like, in a picture with a guy. And he decided to go and tell everyone that he found a picture of me cheating. I'm like, I wanna see this picture. I'm like, I have a picture of me and some guy. I'm like, when? I posted it for people to see. And, like, he, like, and I emailed me and he was like, now I'm gonna send it to him. And he's like, unless you can explain like what you're doing in this, you better get started explaining. I was like, in my head, it was hilarious because it was a picture of me and my husband. <laughs> the fuck? The picture is of me and my husband. What the fuck? But it's like people do not believe me that I don't put stuff out there. It's a little creepy when people do this because like, I don't know why people are so into finding out like secrets of people or like, what the fuck's wrong with all y'all? Catch it, bitch. When me and my husband first met, I had like a house party. We're upstairs and we just had like really shitty cell phones like before everything was touch screen exactly. Like the slide, I had like the slide. I think you could like scroll it and that was like the cool new feature. We were just joking around and like, do you want to... <laughs> no, it was probably like a super shitty footage. So we did the damn thing and I think we had fun. Like I remember like a lot of posing. <laughs> Anyways, I left my phone afterwards, we were done, we went back downstairs to the party, and I left my phone upstairs to charge in the room. Later that night, come back upstairs, and I'm looking for my phone, cannot find my phone. And everyone's like, well, it's gotta be somewhere in the house, like maybe someone moved it, maybe someone needed to use it. I was like, no one should have been my phone. And my phone was gone, like, we looked everywhere, phone was gone, called it, like texted it, and like nothing, completely gone. <laughs> Someone just stole my fucking phone, and of course, they had to have stolen it the same time Dude. and day that I decided to be upgoing. Embarrassing, <laughs> like someone's gonna find my fucking phone, and fuck, <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do? We never found it. That's fun. Was it good footage? Like, was it good? Like, was it really sucky? Like, was I good? <laughs> We look like crap. Like I don't even think the video was long. Like I don't remember. I don't even remember cell phones being able to record for very long. Like I want to see it. <laughs> like do you have it? Did you put it on the internet? Like I don't even. I don't even think that was a thing for people to like steal stuff and put stuff on the internet. Then like yeah. So like technically yeah, I made a sex video. Like I really. I just want to know. So I had taken pictures one time um, to send to him, and I uh, I looked good. Like, like, my ass looks good, and I do still have those, but they're stuck on, like, a prehistoric laptop. Like, more than 10 years ago, like, all laptops were, like, this fucking thick. I think even if, even if it was weird that it was somewhere, like, it probably wouldn't even be watchable. I bet you it was so grainy. Like, horrible to watch. It makes me wonder. <laughs> Old ass phone. Horrible picture quality. Did I look okay in the video? Like, I don't know. It'd be kind of neat to see, just, like, I feel like... Have you ever made a sex video? Is it embarrassing? Or are you kind of proud of it? I like to think that I would use that as like a youth memory thing, yeah. which I mean, because you're only young once. Now I feel lame because I feel like most people have made like genuine like sex tapes or like sex pictures. I feel so left out. I don't feel like a cool kid. I should have done more. But, and now it's like too late because I'm like granny sad as like. <laughs> If I made one now, it would be worse than amateur. People probably pay to have it not be seen. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I mean, so technically, do I have a sex video? I don't have it. Well, we started from a very pointless beginning. 
and I've realized that it's still been taken and basically gone. But I guess I'll never really know. In a sense, though, I kind of did make a video after all. <laughs> Where it is now, though, I guess I'll never know. Bummer. <laughs>